All right, so lead code for today. Um, the question is called verifying an alien dictionary. So two things we are going to do when we solve this problem. The first one, of course, is to find the approach, how to solve this problem and write some code uh, on top of it. And the second one is to see how to solve this problem in a interview, how to do. So first thing first, uh, to understand the problem, clarify the ambiguity, um, and also find the edge case. So first, let's see the problem. So in an alien language, surprisingly, they also use the English lower letters, but uh, possibly a different order. So the order of the alphabet is some permutation of lowercase letters. So give a sequence of words written in the alien language and the order of the alphabet return true if and only if given words are sorted lexicographically in this alien language. Okay, so let's see the example. The first one, hello lead code, and uh, we have the other it returns true why because it says because h comes before l in this language then the sequence is sorted okay so h come okay so i it is comparing hello and lead code it's not do comparison within the words so the reason uh, it returns true is when we compare hello and lead code the first letter is h for the for hello first letter for lead code is l so H comes before L in this order, so it returns true. And for the second example, word world. So W O R W O R, and the first the first one is D. Uh, the the first letter that's different uh, is D and L. So when we do the comparison, D comes after L, so we are going to return false. I think we understand the problem now. Um, so uh, I think we understand it. Let's think about some edge cases. So first of all, what about if the given input is illegal? So for example, if the order doesn't contain 26 lowercase letters, uh, it contains some numbers, uh, not exactly 24, uh, sorry, 26 lowercase letters, uh, or it contains some duplicates. Uh, what if that's the case? So let's assume that the interviewer say illegal um, input is not allowed. So it's guaranteed we have 26 uh, distinct lowercase letters in this other uh, string given in the input. And uh, what about the empty things? So well, if it is empty, what to do? Um, let's say if it is empty, we are just going to uh, return return true. So that totally makes sense, right? Um, so I would say that's it for... Uh, yeah, so and also we may think about what if there's only one word in the words array so if there is one word of course we are going to return true so i think that's mostly uh mostly i think mostly that's the thing okay so i think I, another thing is what if uh, some word is empty so if it is empty um is it guaranteed it has the top other um i guess yes um for for okay, so let's assume that's yes. If it is empty, then it has a top top other. Um, then I think we should have clarified most of the ash cases. Um, so let's give uh, let's give it a shot. So first of all, uh, let's define a function. How to let's define a placeholder function. So it is going to return a boolean let's call it compare two words and uh, it is going to be string word one string word 
two, and uh, the odd, and uh, let's say the other is given as a map. So it's the key as the character and the value as uh, integer, which is the index. So let's get, say car index map. So those are the three uh, arguments for this helper function. Um, so first of all, we are going to translate the other string into a map. So the key is uh, the character and the crisp and the value is the rank or the index within this other uh, string. So for example, h uh, as a key and value is going to be 0, and l as key value would be 1, so on and so forth for this given other string. So uh, map inti uh, character integer um, this car index map so is in for loop car uh, character um, C uh, other dot to car array so car index map dot put um, c as one. Um, okay, so we may want to. So we may want, we can we can do an index based map, or we can introduce another local variable for the it, iteration. But um, to make it a bit. Uh, clear. Let's say use index space one. So i is smaller than other dot uh, lens. I think it's size, right? Dot size. Okay, so it's lens plus plus i. So see, uh, we are going to say other dot car at uh, i. And uh, the index is i as well. Okay, so now we have uh, for, uh, format the car index map. The next thing is to um, do some comparison. Um, okay, so I forgot the edge case checking at the very beginning. So if um, ors is what if it is a num pointer, or if ors dot Lens is smaller than two. We simply return true for this one, and uh, here we have. It's guaranteed we have more than one words. Then we are going to I uh, do some comparison about the neighbor two words. So I is equal to zero. I is smaller than words dot lens uh, minus one plus plus I. So if um, when we compare the two words, uh, it return uh, by calling the helper function, it returns false. Then we definitely return false. So if compare two, uh, two, so, okay, there is a typo here. So two words, uh, so two words. It is words uh, i and the words i plus one. If this is false, then we simply return false. Otherwise, we return true at the end. So now we fill up the logic for compare two words. So uh, here, um, if uh, if it is empty, then okay. So we don't need to think about that. So. In here, when we compare two words, we only need to care about the sh the shorter one uh, in the for loop. So I would say i is equal to zero. i is smaller than um, so let's say mass dot min or one dot lens uh, and the word two dot lens um, plus plus i. Uh, all right. So, if 
um, car index map dot get um, get word uh, word one dot car at i if that one is larger than car index map dot get or two car at i then we are going to return false otherwise we at the end we return true so i think we are mostly co-complete uh okay so forgot you mentioned that the second step is about finding a solution explain how it works to the interviewer and uh, agree on the solution before we proceed coding so for the coding part what we would care is the correctness and uh, the readability so after we code complete um, we are stepping into the testing part how to test it so first of all do some sanity check of course uh, so first of all i would say let's use uh, let's just use the first one um the first example let's say it, it doesn't jump into this part uh, the ash it's not the ash case so map we are going to generate the car index map uh, we put uh, the and the correspond the character as a key and the index as a corresponding value into this map and then we do comparison between the two neighbor words if any of them if any neighbor two words is not uh, good then we return false so we, we, we only have two words to compare which is hello and lead code it is going to be compared in this compare two words helper function so let's say car index uh, map dot get let's get the first uh, let's compare the first letter so the first one for h it is going to return zero um, and uh, the and the the second one L is going to uh, return. Oh, okay. So I think actually I made some mistake because when we compare the words, if it is smaller, then we simply return true. Uh. Uh. No. So here, if if it is if it is if any so when we do the comparison letter by letter if um okay so if any of them if the first letter is smaller then we will need to return true here um if it is equal then we do nothing we just skip it uh if um it is larger than the okay so i think actually the comparison is not true at this moment uh let's say car c1 is equal to word one dot car at uh i and the car and car c2 is word two dot car at uh, i as well so if c1 is equal to c2 uh, then we just continue otherwise it is not equal we will simply return um, car we will si simply return uh, this this condition so it is get uh, c1 and uh, get uh, c2 sorry about that i think i got lost in the middle after that if um everything uh, is good then finally we return to i think that should be 
the thing. Okay, so let's use the first example. First letter H, first letter L in the given example. So it's not equal, it is going to return. Uh, so the index for H is 0, index for L is 1. So it is going to return true, okay? All right, so let's uh, take a run. So if compare two words, okay, so we forgot to pass the index math into it. Uh, okay, so now we are good with this piece of code. Uh, let's see, um, so other than that, we need to talk about some ash cases. Um, and introduce some more uh, general cases, test cases as well. I will say the first example and the second example uh, and the third example are good. So because for the second example, we have some prefix that are equal. Um, so think about how to set up the test case uh, when we compare two words. So that will be essential for how to set up the test cases. I will say if we include example one to three, and also we include some ash cases, like if there's only one word or no word, whatever, into the task cases, when we, we just talk about to the interviewer, I think that should be good enough uh, for the task coverage. So let's give it a shot by submit. Okay, so run answer. Uh, why it is wrong answer? So Apple app. Um, okay, all right, so uh, actually, we miss something when we do the comparison. Okay, so this one it shouldn't be a uh, true. Uh, uh, finally, when we compare the two words, it should be uh, word one dot length is uh, smaller or equal to word two dot length. I think that's the the thing um okay so now we are good uh, like like i said um i made some mistake so when set up some task cases definitely think about what like something like one two three in the example and also um some task other edge cases so and uh, that's it for this coding question um sorry i made some mistake uh some stupid mistake when i do some coding um, I hope you find it um, a good video to learn some lessons, um, like uh, what I made mistake during my coding, and I hope I hope it is a little bit helpful during the time when you prepare your interview. So thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe subscribe to this channel, and uh, I will see you in the future videos.